Hey guys, welcome back to Expose Tuesday. Today's module is actually a simple module. It enables you to have pi. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually go ahead and go into the installer. Actually, you know, let's do it a little bit differently today. We're going to go directly into the actual Chrome application. This is Chrome, a little different than any of the other application. It updates, it looks nice, it has material design built into it. But one thing that it was missing, and at least in my opinion, from the original browser that used to come on our devices before Chrome was made the default, it's Pi the ability to use Pi controls on your actual Chrome application. Now, with the help of this module, we'll be able to bring in Pi directly into the actual Chrome application, and I'll show you how. Simple installation, you actually go in directly into the installer itself, and you just need to download Chrome Pi. Yes, as funny as that may sound, it is actually called Chrome Pi. The version is 0.2, we'll go and open it up. The setup is pretty simple. There's not really that much to turn on other than once you install it and turn it on, it works. And if you change any of these settings, you do need to restart Chrome for it to take effect. Otherwise, it won't turn on. But you have the ability of customizing how many tabs you have. You can add more slices. You also have the ability basically to trigger sides. Currently, I have it on the right and left. You can set it to one. For me, it's mostly because I also have trigger uh, a trigger for uh, switcher. So that kind of helps me if I have it on one side, but it works both ways. Of course, the DP, uh, the actual uh, thickness of how far the actual trigger is, hiding the icon launcher, that's strictly for the actual icon for the module itself. Of course, if you want to donate and support the developer, works very well. But the way I like this, out of the box, just from basic installation and setting up, it pretty much works exactly how I remember Pi working on my default browser that used to come built into our devices. And I did put a post to you guys or a video not that long ago how to bring it over to Jelly Bean or how to bring it over some of the more newer versions of um, Android. But the problem with it, of course, is you're always having to figure out a way of getting it, you know, hacked in. If you have root and you have the Expose installer, Pi is your friend. The actual module works pretty well. It works actually as far as the functionality, it works with both regular Chrome and Chrome beta. I like the way it's implemented because it actually brings back that actual function that I usually always used to like out of the actual browser that used to come built into our devices. Now I'm not talking about the ones that come on TouchWiz, I'm talking about the one that used to be the default browser before Chrome came about on our Android devices. So check it out, let me know what you guys think. It's simple, it's customizable. You can change the different actual slices so you don't actually have to have as many as I was showing you with the hands-on, but it works pretty well. Simple enough that it'll work. You do have to have Expose Installer, you do have to have Root for all of this to work, of course. But as usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel, and let me know in the comments below the video what do you guys think of this module. I think it's really nice and it brings a functionality that Chrome just has been missing for a while. And it just makes things one-handed operation much better and much simpler. Thank you.